Hey everyone, welcome and thank you for joining us for another great video here on Chuckwagon MTG. Uh, today we're just cracking open a bunch of packs for patrons. Um, that's what we're doing. Uh, now, first off, I'd like to apologize. Uh, I'm breaking one of the the cardinal rules of um, any type of uh, video recording type thing. Um, you're not supposed to ever have gum or you know candy or anything uh, in your mouth. Um, for those of you that were uh, anxiously awaiting one of last week's videos uh, that never arrived, um, I was extremely sick. In fact, I haven't been that sick in years. Uh, I slept for four days straight. So anyways, uh, that's neither here nor there. Um, to make it through this video, I I've got to have a cough drop. Um, I've tried a couple times and I seriously can't even get to opening packs before I start coughing again. So anyways, uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and we're going to switch over to our other camera here and we're going to start opening some packs. First person we have, uh, and this person always goes first, mainly because they're in, we, we essentially go by tiers uh, for Patreon, and then um, it goes mostly alphabetical or whatever my computer decides to spit out. But anyways, if you want to learn more about Patreon and all the cool stuff we have and how you can join, um, there's a link down in the description. Go check it out. It's wonderful. Anyways, uh, first up, we have Adam Brody. Adam, thank you very much for being a patron. Greatly appreciated. Um, he's getting four packs, and he is in what is called the uh, Director's Board, the Chuck Wagon MTG Director's Board. So for 20 bucks, he gets four packs of standard, and then we build him a pack out of the Build-A-Pack box that has a bunch of new additions. Thank you so much, MTG Unpacked and the still mystery patron that donated all that stuff. Uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and put a link up here so you can check it out. It's just... It was amazing. Anyways, so he gets two rares. He gets a common or uncommon worth at least a buck. A random foil. A random foil basic. Um, and actually, I was just looking through the foil basics because there's really not... I don't have a whole lot left. There's like 20 or so in here. Um, we don't have any of the old lands left or, yeah, that are still in here, so I'm going to have to acquire some of the uh, old shooting star lands to put because it's it's fun to get some you know fun basic lands uh anyways uh we get 10 cards out of here and these are all commons uncommons that span magic's history um there's no alpha or beta in here but there is some legacy stuff there's modern stuff there's standard stuff um and there's also random rares in here and there's uh, random foils thrown in, and there's prize cards and all sorts of good stuff. So it's just fun and a bun right here. What do we have? We got uh, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, let's see what we got for Adam. Uh, all right, we got a Teo the Shield Mage. We got It of the Horrid Swarm. Uh, oh, we got a snow-covered swamp. Uh, we normally don't put basics in the box here, aside from the foils. Um, but the snow covers we threw them in with the commons and what. Because why not? Why not? Uh, we got a paradise druid. I actually really, really like that card. Uh, oh, there's a foil from um, Rise. Uh, Rise the Eldrazi Core Line Slinger. Uh, get yourself a Diamond Knight. Oh, skipping ahead. Wild Ceratok. Uh, Teljalad the Fallen. And a Radical Idea and a Vector Asp. All right, go ahead and set those aside for you there. Our Foil Basic. Wow, I grew up like there. Sorry, folks. Uh, we've got an M15 Forest. Random Foil is a Debtor's Transport uh, from the recent Ravnica set. Our Common or Uncommon is Terminate. I'm pretty sure this is still up there. Um, I think this has been in the box for a while. So I'll double check. If it's not over a buck, we'll replace it. But I'm pretty sure that still is. All right, our first rare is... We got a Collective Defiance. That's not too shabby. I really loved these Escalate spells. That was good stuff. Second rare is... Avatar of Woe. All right, look at that. Uh, now, it's not where it used to be. But it's still a good card, so... I apologize, folks. I'm going to try to keep that down when I do have to cough now. All right, so we'll go ahead and we're going to crack open 
Adams packs. See what he gets. All right, we're going to skip, 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 skip. We got an Angel of Vitality. We got a Noxious Grasp. We got a Barkhide Troll. And Loxodon Life Chanter. Not too bad. All righty. Next pack. Let's skip past all this. We got Eternal Isolation. We got Thrashing Brontodon, Might of the Masses, and Cavalier of Dawn. Okay, got a mid. Oh, and a foil rare too. Icon of Ancestry. Um, no idea what that's at, but that's still pretty cool. Then we got an Evolving Wilds uh, on top of that. So that's that's not a bad pack. Not a bad pack. No idea what those prices are at. Um, I I do know that. I mean, it's a core set, so a lot of the stuff really isn't holding value. And it's kind of the nature of core sets. Um, it, it's meant to supplement everything else that's, that's out there. So, But still some good stuff to be had. Uh, we got Fry. I love the art on this card. I, I just... It's just two chicken legs. Just sitting there roasted. All right. We got Loyal Pegasus. We got Devout Decree. And a Glinthorn Buccaneer. All right, last pack. Let's see what we can. Wait a second. One, two. Did I throw the rare in? It's, uh, we're, I think we're missing a rare. <laughs> um, I did. I threw it in the. I don't know, man. I, I don't know. I got no excuse. All right, let's see what's in this last pack for Adam. Alrighty, skip past all this stuff. We got an Ogre Siege Breaker, uh, Mask of Immolation, Renowned Weaponsmith, and Villas Broker of Blood. I dig that guy. All right, well, that's what you got. Thank you very much, Adam, for being a patron. It's greatly appreciated. You let us do a lot of the fun stuff we do here on the channel. Without your patrons, it just we couldn't do it. All right, so go ahead and grab your name tag, slap it on there, so we don't get it mixed up with you know everyone else's. And then we are moving on uh, to our other patron that is in the same tier, Golden Bohensky. Golden, thank you very much for being a patron. It's greatly appreciated. Um, and actually, I believe I'm going to be playing Magic with Golden this weekend um, down at RIW. Uh, a friend of ours is having a birthday chaos draft. It's going to be amazing. Can't wait to see you guys. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and grab him one rare. And then two, we're going to grab the very last rare. And then we're going to grab a common or uncommon. Grab a foil. Grab a foil basic. And then ten of these bad boys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, y'all can't even see that, and ten. Yeah, you guys didn't see it last, last half. I apologize for that. All right, let's see what we got for Golden. We got Infuriate. We got Envelop. Uh, Battalion Foot Soldier. Golgari Clue Stone. Impale. Uh, Azra Smoke Shaper. Firemind Vessel. Deadly Recluse. Saberclaw Golem, and then we got an Imperialis, yeah, Imperious Oligarch. All right, his random foil basic is a Fate Reforged Forest. That, that's actually, that's, that's really beautiful. I love foil lands. I just, I really do. All right, our random foil is a Drake Familiar from the original Ravnica. Uh, our uncommon is Farseek. I'm pretty sure that's still up there. All right, first rare is going to be Seance. 
All right. No idea the price on that. But it's going to be down the corner, so we'll know. And then we got a Wildfire Eternal. All right. Let's see what we got in the packs for Golden. All right. Skip ahead to the good stuff. Oh, we got another Fry. Loyal Pegasus. Chandra Spitfire. And... Leyline of Sanctity. Oh, we got a foil to a foil Woodland Champion. Um, let me tell you, this right here, I mean, the camera doesn't do it justice. This is a nice foil. Um, I bought a playset just because I like the way they looked, honestly. So, there you go. Let's see, we got impact number two. I think we got another foil. We got a Pulse of Marasa. Oh, there we go. Uh, Uncade Fury. Yarox Fenlurker. And then our rare is... Hey! Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Chandra Awakening Inferno. And then our foil is a foil negate. Um, now, I mean, negate's been printed so many times that the, even the foil ones, they're, they're not worth anything. But man, are they beautiful. So nice. So flippin' nice. All right, well, so far I don't think we're doing too bad for Golden. Uh, and it's been a couple months since he got, like, the insane pulls. So, uh, what we got here? We got a Chandra, another Chandra. Uh, we got Thought Distortion. We got Ember Hauler. And we got Leyline of Anticipation. I guess you're just supposed to get Ley Lines. And then is that an... It is! It's another foil. Uh, a, noil, uh, a foil fairy miscreant. Foil in every pack so far for Golden. All right. What does this last pack hold? Maybe another foil. I don't know. All right. Uh, no, I don't think there is. All right. We got Disfigure. We got Scampering Scorcher. Spectral Sailor. And then we got Drac... Dracoseth? Dracoseth? Maw of Flames. All I know is, is in limited, when you see this guy played, unless you have kill spell in hand, chances are your game's not going to go too well. Yeah, that, that thing is just gross. All right, well, Golden, congratulations. Uh, you did good. You did good. I mean, I know at this point in time, Chandra is the most expensive card in the set, I do believe. So, that's a winner winner chicken dinner right there. And then... Uh, well, you got ley lines, so. Anyways, Golden, thank you very much for being a patron. It is greatly appreciated. I love all my patrons. You guys are amazing. Um, Let's go ahead and move stuff around here. All right, next up, who do we have? We have Eric Birch. Eric, thank you very much for being a patron. Greatly appreciated. He gets two packs. He is in our investors tier. And then he gets a build a pack. So he gets one. He gets two rares. He's going to get common or uncommon. He's going to get a random foil and a random foil basic. Now there is still, um, I think we've got some of the GP promo lands uh, in here still. So that is a possibility. So there are still some basic lands that are, you know, worth. Uh, generally the foil basics. Um, from new stuff is they're worth anywhere between like 75 cents and a buck. Um, the GP ones are uh, slightly above that. I think they're around two or three bucks a piece. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. If I can get that last card and I'm not showing it again, I just, yeah, you know, I can't get this camera far enough away to where it can capture all of this, but then it doesn't capture like the rest of my, like, horrific desk that is just an absolute shamble. You know, there is one guy you do get to see, though. I'm going to pull him out here real quick. This is my my editing assistant. Um, it's a killer bunny from Monty Python. Uh, my wife got this for me years ago. Uh, and the reason he's got a little popsicle stick in there is because essentially he's like a... Kind of like a clip type thing that's what you know makes him do it does his thing but it started to wear through his butt so i had to prop his mouth open to take the stress off but he's he's my little 
little friend here. Um, I would do the pack blessings, like MTGM pack does, but I think he might bring bad luck to the packs, just because that's his nature. He's cute and fluffy, and he destroys things. So, anyways, okay. Uh, yeah, apologize about that. Sorry. All right, we got uh, Dead Weight. We got It of the Horrid Swarm. Uh, Prison Realm. We got Mardu Woe Reaper. I love this in standard. Uh, we got Worm's Tooth from Darksteel. We got uh, Vernadi Shieldmate. Whisper Agent. Talisman of Resilience. Glinthawk. And then Noxious Grudion. Alrighty. Our foil basic is a Forest from Dominaria. Our random foil is a Loxodon Wayfinder from Scars. Uh, ooh, Fire Blast. Okay, that's a, a good one. Uh, I'm not sure where it's at, but I, I do know it's still played, because uh, I see it on MTGO all the time. Uh, our first rare is Magma Phoenix. Gotta love Phoenixes. And then we got Mizium Meddler. Love this guy, love this guy, love this guy. That's shenanigans. That is what blue... That is one of the, I guess, most accurate blue creatures out there because when he comes into the battlefield, he just messes everything up. So, yeah. That's just that's what they do. All right, let's go ahead and see what's in the packs. We're going to skip past all this. We got an Iron Root Warlord. We got Risen Reef. That's not too shabby. Mask of Immolation and... Hey! Winner, winner, chicken winner. I believe Soren is the second or third most expensive card in the set. So we got a Soren Imperious Bloodlord. Good stuff. Good stuff. We're getting some good hits for patrons today. Love it. Now, and especially when you can have one card... You know, pay for the month because this is ten bucks. All this right here is ten bucks. This right here covers that. <laughs> good, good stuff. All right, we got Wolf Riders Saddle, uh, Blood Soaked Altar, Overgrowth Elemental. That's seen a little bit of play too. And then we got Starfield Mystic, and we got a foil. Our foil is Audacious Thief. All right. Well, there you go. I think we did good. I think we did good. All right, well, congratulations there. So we got there. We got the cards. Very good. Name tag. And once again, Eric, thank you very much for being a patron. Greatly appreciated. Um, and then we do have giveaways this week. I mean, we I, we try to do giveaways every week, uh, but we've got an extra one because last week got missed. Oh, sorry, hit the camera. My bad. Sorry. Um, next up, we have got Arthur Isakar. Arthur, thank you very much for being a patron. Um, he's got two packs here. And he's going to get one rare. And then two rares. He's going to get a common or uncommon foil. Did I give you two foils? No. Foil basic. And then we got one, two, three, four... Five, six. Let's see if you guys can see this. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right. Let's see what we got for Arter. All right. We got Abnormal Endurance. We got a Foil Kemba Skyguard. Uh, hijack. Exultant Cultist. We got Rubble Slinger. We got Fertile Ground. Spell Snip. Mob. Uh, Battle Flight Eagle. And then Clear the Stage. All right, what do we got here? Our foil basic is uh, a forest from M20. Random foil is. Ooh, River Boa from uh, Zendikar. And that's not a bad foil. Not bad. All right. Our common run common is Ancestral Mask. First rare is a... Oh, it's one of the cards we got last week. This is actually a foil Maelstorm, Maelstrom Pulse. 
There we go. I said it right. All right. Well, congratulations on that nice little hit. And then we got a Jace Wielder of Mysteries. Not too bad either. Looking good, sir. Looking good. Let's see what we got in the packs. If we can expand on this luck. All right. We got Eternal Isolation. We got Vampire of the Dire Moon. Risen Reef. And then we got Leyline of the Void. I'm pretty sure it's the most expensive of the Leylines. And let's see what we got. Impact number two. Did we get a foil? No, nah, I don't think we did. Okay. All right. We got Captivating Gyre. We got Retributive Wand. We've got Overgrowth Elemental. And we got Leyline of Sanct... Man, something with the Leylines today. Um, I mean, it's not great. But you know what? This one, it's got some money value. And then between that and this stuff right here, I think we did good. I think we did good. So anyways, Arnter, thank you very much for being a patron. It's greatly appreciated and i hit my mic man i am just all right you know we're gonna put that sideways on there all right next up we have joel sudnahovsky joel thank you very very much for being a patron two packs two rares common or uncommon foil we'll grab from the front this time we'll do the same for a foil basic and then one two try to get this in frame three four five six seven eight nine and ten Okay, let's see what we got for Joel. We got Ashiok Skulker. We got a Bane Hound. Selesnia Clue Stone. Uh, a actually rather beat up foil Goblin Piker. Um, I, I normally don't put cards in there that are that, are that beat up. But um, yeah, let me know if you want it replaced. I, I can replace that for you because, you know, we're going to, I'm grabbing another card. Is that, I mean, you can, you can, you stick at that one, but that's pretty beat up. All right, your replacement is Essence Strain. Uh, we got Impale. Uh, we got Bloodhunter Bat. Ephemerate. Unexplained Disappearance. Concordia Pegasus. And then Grim Contest. All right. Our foil basic is a Swamp from Dominaria. Random foil is Tribute Mage. Okay. That's some stuff right there. Um, I think this one almost covers uh, what you paid into Patreon this month. <laughs> Good stuff. All right. And then we got a Securitas route. Yeah, almost for... Yeah, no. E. Cough medicine. It's still doing its thing. Anyways, our first rare is Lava Ball Trap. Followed by a shape anew. I remember when this card came out, and this was when I first started, I guess, sort of taking magic seriously. Essentially, before that, it was almost all casual. And when this card came out, I thought I had come up with this brilliant idea of this in Blightsteel Colossus. Because, you know, it's the same block. Um... If you don't know what Blightsteel Colossus is, pause the video, go look up Blightsteel Colossus, and you'll see what... Okay, so Shape Anu, the controller of target artifacts, sacrifices it, and then reveals cards from the top of his or her library until he or she reveals an artifact card. That player puts that card onto the battlefield. And then shuffles all the cards revealed that way into, into the, his or her library. So, essentially, if... Try to remember... I believe it, ran, it had, there were artifact lands, or maybe it was Mox Opal you started off. I, I, I don't remember, but essentially you, was, you mainly ran um, 
I think it was artifacts to dig or something. There was there was a bird. I remember that much. Um, but then you would do this, and then you would just you would keep digging until you hit uh, Blight Steel Colossus, and then I mean it's Blight Steel Colossus. But anyways, this was a fun card. All right, let's get on to the packs uh, before I blabber too much more because we're already holy cats. This video is going to be long. I, I'm sorry, folks. I'm talking too much. We'll skip, skip, skip. Uh, we got a Pattern Matcher. Uh, Renowned Weaponsmith, Scuttlemutt, and Mystic Forge. I'm seeing some rather interesting stuff with this uh, this here card. Um, not really my style, but I dig it. I dig it. All right, next one is, what do we got here? We got a Veil of Summer, not too shabby, Flame Sweep, Gauntlets of Light, did a deck tech with this, that was fun, and then we got Leyline of Combustion, what the heck? Every, Leyline is for everyone, you get a Leyline, and you get a Leyline, and you get a Leyline. I don't know, folks. I just opened the box. <laughs> Anyways, there you go, thank you very much. Uh... Joel for uh, for being a patron. It's greatly appreciated. Um, I actually got to meet Joel once at a uh, pre-release. Awesome guy. Awesome guy. All right. So now we're gonna go ahead and switch over to our uh, other camera here, and we're on the wrong page. We're going over to wheel the side. Now we've got a few more people uh, because of the last video we had up was uh, the one where MTG packed. I opened up the care package, you know, that he sent, um, and some people came over from his channel as well. So we got some new people on this wheel here. Now, for those of you who are new to this, when your name comes up on here, I open a pack for you. Now, you have to be subscribed to the channel, and you have to contact us within, th yeah, 30 days. Oh, drew a blank there for a second. You have to contact us within 30 days to let us know where to send the card. Because um, sending cards out to random addresses very rarely has them end up in the right place. So you got 30 days to contact us. Give us the information where to send it, and we'll send it to you. After 30 days, it will probably end up going into the Patreon Build-A-Pack box, regardless of what it is. So um, anyways, yeah, let's go ahead and do this. We're going to run over to random.org. We're going to roll two six-sided dice. Whatever comes up, we got 12. That's how many times we're going to click the wheel. Good luck to everybody that's involved. We got once, twice, thrice, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Congratulations to. Oh, the Pichu 100. It's either been a long time since you've won or you've never won before. So here's what we're going to do. Let me get this out here. I'm going to write your name in a label. If the pen will work. For crying out loud, really? <laughs> Hold on, folks. I'm sorry. i got to try to get this uh, pen to work. There we go. Okay. Pichu 1... Hundred. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go down into our list, and we're going to take the Pichu out. Where? Oh, you were at the very top of the list. I remember you were towards the front. All right, so we took your name out. We're going to apply those changes, and we're going to go ahead, and we're going to do this all over again. We'll roll the dice. We got nine. And go ahead and click this thing nine times. Good luck to everyone. Once, twice, thrice, four, five, six. Seven, eight, and nine. Congratulations to Travi Trav. Congratulations, sir. Thank you for watching and commenting. And that's the only thing you have to do to get into these weekly giveaways. Comment on a video, be subscribed to the channel, and then for every time, if you comment in a matter of a week, that gets you in. That's it. Pretty easy peasy. Travi. Trev. Okay. Let's go ahead and uh, we're going to go ahead and switch 
cameras back and then we got a pack here this one is going to the Pichu 100 essentially you're gonna get the rare or the mythic and or foil that is in this pack uh nope nope all right let's see what we got we got elvish elvish reclaimer so i honestly i thought this guy was going to be a little bigger than he was i still think i still like him i still like it i really do oh and there is a foil a foil hey you get a foil basic swamp all right congratulations sir so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna oh i thought there was a tear in the card nope nope foils go in front you know better than that chuck yeah a little mailing tip um for anyone sending cards foils do not react well when the foily side is touching another card uh, so if you're putting two cards in make sure the foil is in front if they're both foil put them back to back never put a foil card against anything aside a sleeve on the foil side because it just turns out bad uh, I've had several foils mailed to me from um, well, mainly TCG and eBay and if they come like that nine times out of ten I send them back because I if I'm gonna buy a foil I want it to be pristine that's just how I am anywho all right one more pack for Travi Trav let's see what we got in here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten oh no foil I'm sorry uh we got a Brian Horn cutthroat the fen lurker bark high troll and then a planer cleansing you can't go wrong with a board wipe all right so we're gonna go ahead and put that one in a sleeve and put your name on it i want to thank everyone for watching today participating in this wonderful channel um i know we've had some ups and downs here uh this last year but uh I i'm happy with where we're at uh I, I think we're in a good place um oh you know what before i forget uh, and i can't believe i forgot this um our pack to power a cure uh is almost ready for auction um essentially we've i've went through and i re-inventoried everything um i didn't go off the deck list that we had um or the the list on the deck list site um i wanted to make sure everything was correct so i started over and i inventoried every card did my best at grading them um to give an accurate description and it, it's it's a bitter pill to swallow we had set a goal for one thousand dollars uh to get a thousand dollars worth and if you don't know what the pack to power cure is um go into our um what do you call them the video collections um playlists wow um anyways go into a playlist look up pack to power a cure um it's a big fun thing that benefits a charity um so anyways we hit 903 dollars with our goal being a thousand and if it was just that it wouldn't be that bad because I, I think we did really good but the fake Liliana of the veil that we got that one set us back a hundred dollars so had that trade not happened we would have made the thousand dollar mark so but regardless um, that's in the past we've got 900 and some change um, that's gonna be in this auction uh, the only thing we have left to do um because the auction's already been made before i fire it i'm waiting to hear back from a couple uh larger companies to help me promote the auction they're not gonna be promoting the channel they're gonna be promoting strictly the auction for this um just because i want i want the best chance of getting the most money uh for the juvenile diabetes research foundation as we can possibly get so anyways that is underway uh I'm hoping we can actually fire the auction in like a week and a half, two weeks, 
that gives people time to get back with me and, you know, make sure everything is set up. So anyways, that's about it. Uh, if you like what you saw here today, do us a huge favor. Click the like button, hit subscribe, hit the bell notification button so you can tell we have new stuff coming out, and then share this with your friends, your family, your loved ones, and your pets. Everyone could use a little more magic in their lives. Once again, thank you very much for watching, and as always, you can find us on Facebook and Twitter, ChuckwagonMTG.